Hello, I am here with Brent Loken. Brent Loken, where are you from? Uh, born in the U.S., but Squamish is where I call home now, Squamish, Canada. Squamish is a good place to call home. What do you like about it? Uh, the climbing, biking, the, the untold beauty of Canada. You really can't beat it. Cool. And we're here in Edinburgh, and we just saw Richard Horton speak at the Planetary Health Alliance conference. That was pretty cool. What did you take from that? Uh, that time is short. Time is running out, and we have to make big changes fast. Uh, we have to really stop talking and then turn the words into action. Yeah, and so how are you working on doing that right now? So I'm one of the authors of a commission called the Eat Lancet Commission on Food Planet Health. And what we're trying to do with that is we're setting global scientific targets for what defines healthy diets and global scientific targets for what defines um, sustainable diets. Do they match up? It, Pretty close. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty close. And uh, you know, healthy diets are also good for the planet. So you can actually have co-benefits. Yeah. Cool. So, so can we have a sneak preview? What are you allowed to tell us? <laughs> uh, eat plants. Um, okay. You know, we we really have to have. Like, I can't give you a sneak preview of the report itself, but but generally the research is is saying that we have to eat more plants. You know, we have awesome. to have a radical shift away from animal source foods. Um, we have to change the way that we are actually producing the food. Yeah. Um, and it, it is actually possible to have food that is good for people and good for the planet. Cool. How, how are plants better for people? What are the health benefits? Uh, the health benefits, uh, lower risk of things like cardiovascular disease, heart yeah. disease, cancers. Um, and you know, I don't know if any of you have ever been on a plant-based diet, but it, it, it just makes you feel better. I mean, it, it, you know, I've been on a, you know, mainly plant-based, you know, diet for years and, and it just, you just generally feel so much better. So. Awesome. And how is it better for the planet? Less environmentally intensive. So you have less greenhouse gas emissions, less water use, less biodiversity loss. Um, you know, food is, is, is the leading cause of environmental degradation today. Yeah. And by shifting towards more plant-based foods, you can actually decrease that dramatically. Awesome. So when's your report coming out? Uh, this fall. So we're hoping so fall maybe this fall 2018. So we're hoping awesome. by maybe October, November. Well, we're pretty excited we'll about that because we're just uh, redoing the Canada Food Guide and it looks like it's moving in that direction. So maybe we'll be Eat like more. ahead from a policy standpoint. How cool would that be? Eat more plants. Let's go Canada. Let's let's Eat start, go, let's start eating more plants and uh, and it's good for people, good for planet. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. We had we had baked goods for breakfast. I had a donut. Does that count as a plant? <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't. Doesn't count as a but plant. I don't think we're supposed think to eat sugar, so cool, but it was a really good donut. So, it, like, is if Canada could lead the way here? I think so like, too. We like have a chance Canada to do that. That's super awesome. Canada could actually set the stage for for what it looks like to transform your food system, to to really shift, you know, away from animal source foods and 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 to make foods that are healthy for both people and planet. So, yeah, I bought Canada grown crickets and I put them in some muffins last weekend. Yeah. I, and lentils. Yes. Lentils from Saskatchewan. Hemp heart. Insects are an option. You know, I'm, You're not I'm, selling insects. I'm, I get the I'm feeling skeptical. he's not trying to sell us insects. I'm skeptical that insects are going to be adopted widely globally, but but maybe. They tasted okay in the muffins. Yeah, okay. All right. Cool. Well, so nice to talk to you, Brent. I'm you so too. excited Thank that you. you're doing what you're doing. You. And like, we're really excited that this is coming out and super excited about the Health Canada process going on at the same time. And yeah, we'll see how it all goes in 2018. It's a big year for food. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Nice Thanks. to talk yep. to you. Yep.